What's good YouTube? I'm Robert with the Crosscut Creations channel. Today we're going to build this Beatles pick. If you want to see how I did it, keep watching. This is a Steve Good pattern. I'll link his channel in the description. I printed off the template and I did enlarge it so I did edit it a little bit. I attached the pattern with spray adhesive two times, one for the pattern that I'll actually cut out and one for the backer. After I attach the pattern I drill the holes, the entry holes for each of the letters so I can make the interior cuts on the scroll saw. Once I drill the interior holes, I can now start scrolling, so I thread the blade through, the, through each interior hole, and I start scrolling. Everything was going so well, and then four letters in, the blade got away from me, and I snapped the middle part of the B. So I started over again. I printed out another template. I drilled. All, I attached all the uh, the pattern again. I drilled all the holes once more, and tried again and this time it was a success and I didn't have to do it a third time. I decided to cut the curve of the B out first this time instead of the straight part and this seemed to help quite a bit. It was at this point that I realized that the extra hole that I drilled in the S was unnecessary because the E and the S and Beatles were attached so I did that little bit of extra work for nothing but not a big deal it took half a second to drill that one hole so all we have left is to cut out the four members of the Beatles bonus points if you can name them here I am cutting the outside shape out on the bandsaw I could have done this on the scroll saw but I love scrolling as much as I love getting a cavity filled. I haven't had a cavity in years and years and years, but I remember it being painful, so I'm just going to go with I love scrolling as much as I love getting a cavity filled. After I cut the outside shape out on the bandsaw of the piece that I scrolled, I cut the outside shape out on the backer. The backer that I used was leftover bamboo flooring. You can see the tongue and groove. After I cut those out on the bandsaw, I sanded down to the line on my disc sander. I did that for the backer and the piece that was scrolled out. I cut out the rough shape on the bandsaw, but after I cut the rough shape out, I sanded down to the lines of each of the patterns and that's what was that's how I was able to gain my final shape after I sand to the shape that I want I take out the heat gun and take the pattern off of the two pieces after I take off the paper templates I'm able to put some glue on the pieces themselves and I attach the top scrolled out portion to the backer. Once I get everything lined up where I want it to be, I put it in clamps and I let it sit overnight to dry. Got clamps? I take off the clamps and get a glimpse at what the pick looks like and just to make sure that the top piece lines up with the backer piece, I sand down to the final shape one more time. This is done on the disc sander. 
I really need to replace that sanding disc. If you guys know how to replace one of those Ryobi discs, let me know in the comments. Here I am sanding with 120 grit uh, the top of the Beatles pick. I noticed the clamps left a little residue or some kind of mark, so I'm just sanding those off real quick. And here we are finishing the piece with spray lacquer. I used three coats of spray lacquer, did the front and the back. The bamboo flooring backer was already finished with something, so this was probably unnecessary, but I figured while I was already finishing the piece, I might as well just do the whole piece. I'm attaching a picture frame holder to the back so this can get hung up. And we have a final product. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This project was a good one because a lot of people like the Beatles and the Beatles are such an iconic band. Here's the pick one more time. There we go. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. We'll see you next time.